didn't feel that one coming on. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Herb, I just have to say, we are, we're here playing in here. Carnegie Hall, you know, and I was out today, Herb, thinking, you know, I went out for a walk uh, earlier, you know, to sort of collect my thoughts and, you know, what you call it, uh, meditate on this is historical moment or whatever in our lives. And uh, I was down by the water thinking, you know, and I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, you know, they say, we I was walking, 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 they say that, uh, the, uh, that, that uh, the sense of smell is as strong as the five senses, you know, and you go somewhere and you can sort of take a smell of something and it'll bring you back to a moment. You're just reliving a moment in your memory and you, you know, you could have a, a fragrance that would make you remember a terrific holiday meal with your loved ones or a perfume that will remind you of the time you fell in love or another fragrance, you know, rape. You know, just, it takes you right back there, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I was walking along the river today and I, I smelled that water herb, you know, and it just made me, it took me right back to when we first started performing together in Baltimore, you know, because, well, ha <laughs> ha, well, uh, hey, you know, Herb and I, we were raised in a government-run facility in Western Pennsylvania where we were diagnosed as retards. <laughs> now, I know it's not politically correct to use that word retard nowadays. You're supposed to be differently abled or mentally challenged or otherwise engaged. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, when Herb and I use the word retard, it's sort of like when black people use the word nigger. Retard, we own that word. But uh, there we were, you know, we were raised in this institutional. And when I was about 15 or 16, I was uh, thrown kicked. <laughs> well, let me put it to you this way, ladies and gentlemen. I've never left any place without being asked to leave first. That's the way I approach things. It's a very, it's a sort of a zen-like thing. You know, relax, just enjoy yourself. And when it's time to go, they'll let you know, you know. I mean, for instance, tonight, we could be here for three hours, and then again, we may only be here for 10 minutes. You never know. But I encourage you, you know, it's a wonderful way to live. Just, you know, wait until someone tells you it's time to go. Well, <laughs> well, when I was about 15 or 16, they threw me out of the institutional because uh, I was, uh, I was uh, pregnant. I was a uh, uh, 16 year old, unwed mother. I, uh, I don't know if any of you know the story of Agnes of God, but uh, mine was very similar, except for, well, I knew what happened. But they threw me out. And I, I eventually made my way to Baltimore, Maryland, where I became a dancer in a, in a, a burlesque nightclub, a sort of a, what you call it, a hoochie coochie dancer in a titty bar. And let me tell you something, if there are any young girls here tonight, I encourage you all to try it. It's a wonderful thing. If you're a young girl and you got your looks and you got a great body, hey, that's a good way to make some money if you can't afford to go to school, sweetheart. Put yourself through school. I, it's a, you know, it's an honest living and I encourage you. But uh, I was there and I was dancing, dancing, dancing. And uh, finally, you know, I kept saying, I, I like dancing, but I'm a singer. I'm a singer. I want to sing. Finally, they said, all right, Key, well, we'll give you a chance, you know. So I fished old Herb out of the loony bin brought him down to Baltimore and we started performing and it was just a wonderful time. Of course now, this was the 1950s, so it was the height of the Cold War, you know, uh, it was the communist threat, the Red Scare, everybody's running, you know, in those days it was the communist, you know, it's always something. So there we were and uh, so, but, you know, we were young, we were having a good time. So just.